Hi everybody, it's Katie Snyder at Museum of the Grand Prairie in the Champaign County Forest Preserve District. Well, here we are already at the last week of Black History Month. I wanted to take the time to read you one more story um, for Black History, and that's about Miss Aretha Franklin. This book is called R-E-S-P-E-C-T, Aretha Franklin, The Queen of Soul, and it's by Carol Boston Weatherford. We had another book by Carol Boston Weatherford earlier earlier in this Black History Story series. And this one is has the art, which is by Frank Morrison. This is also a Coretta Scott King Award winner. And I've mentioned before that anytime you want to find a great Black History ch children's book, look for those Coretta Scott King Awards and those Coretta Scott King Honors. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul. Ooh, check out that automobile. Before it even starts, there's a really cool picture of what I think is Aretha and her siblings. Maybe playing hide and seek. B-L-E-S-S-E-D. Cradled by the church, rocked by an ebony sea, Aretha says a little prayer each night on bended knee. This book is like a poem. I love that. D-E-T-R-O-I-T. The Franklins moved from Memphis, Tennessee. They put down roots like a mighty tree. So here's Aretha, her mom and dad. It looks like that she has three siblings. M-U-S, I see. Hand clapping gospel, the Franklin's pedigree. Parents, children, praise the Lord in a stirring harmony. So Aretha Franklin grew up singing in the church. Looks like she sang with her family. S-T-R-I-F-E. Clarence and Barbara Franklin can't seem to agree. Daddy wasn't faithful, so mama chose to flee. So it looks like her mama and daddy had some disagreements and the mama left and the daddy's with the kids now. G-I-F-T-E-D, young, gifted, black, Aretha hears a melody. Then she plays the tune by ear, plinking perfectly. So she could hear that music and then play that music. Oh, that's a talent. That's gifted. E-X-A-M-P-L-E. -E. Her preacher father fights for rights in the community. Other leaders visit to voice a common plea. So they're all working together to try to fight for rights. T-A-L-E-N-T. -E Young Aretha's soul soars with artistry. Her wise father senses his father's destiny. So she's a young woman and her talent is clear. And her dad notices it and other people notice it. D-E-B-U-T, 14, recording live and nervous as can be. She cuts a gospel album, gives God the victory. So only 14 years old, her first album was a gospel album, which means just singing praises to God. She comes from a church background. B-O-I-C-E, Aretha's voice resounds with color and clarity, spanning three plus octaves, and maestros all agree. So here she is in the recording studio. On what you got. G R O O V E. Aretha finds her groove when she's rocking R&B. No woman of her time has more chart toppers than she. So she still sang gospel and then she added in R&B. She has her rhythm and blues. R I G H T. For the civil rights movement for racial equality, Aretha raised funds and gives concerts for free. 
So Aretha is not only a singer, she's also an activist. And she used her talent to spread that activism. Someday we'll all be free. And there she is doing that work. G-R-E-A-T, Aretha's crowned as queen of soul, our own royalty. She wins awards and accolades and more than one degree. So she was known as the queen of soul. And still is to this day. P-R-O-U-D. When the first black president is sworn into history, the queen rejoices with my country tis of thee. So when our first black president, Barack Obama, was sworn in, Aretha Franklin sang that day at the inauguration. And she sang, my country tis of thee. That was a moment, that was a stirring moment. Sweet land of liberty. And that was that day for the inauguration of Barack Obama, first black president. H-U-M-B-L-E, Aretha tours her queendom from sea to shining sea, but in Detroit, down to earth, she's known as just Riri. So that's where she lived when she was a girl. And when she was a girl, they called her Riri. You might have a nickname as well. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, the Queen of Soul blessed us with a golden legacy, but she would probably call it the gift that God gave me. Here she is. And she lived a long time. She just died a few years ago. So I remember she was featured in her 1968 exhibit in 2018, and that is when she passed away. So she had a long career. She lived from 1942 to 2018, and she started singing gospel when she was six, but she recorded her first album at 14, and she worked through her whole life. Here are some of her chart top and hits. This book is based on her song R-E-S-P-E-C-T, which you may have seen in the, heard her um, singing it again in the Blues Brothers, if you've ever seen that movie. And there she is, Queen of Soul. Okay, friends, hope you've had a good time listening to these books all throughout the month of Black History, and we'll see you all again real soon. Bye-bye, friends.